Hello YouTube, this is BlabMcBlab67, and today I'm showing you guys how to make a custom thumbnail. Um, you, the program that I'm going to be using is GIMP. Um, it's a really nice program. It's basically like Photoshop, but it's free. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, I'm going to show you an example that I made for a thumbnail that um, I'm doing. It's a kit showcase, so kit review for a demo man. Just go ahead and open this up. Um, this is really nice. I, uh... Sometimes you have to like delete the white parts around the photos. I got lucky because the gravel came with nothing, so did the pressure plates. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a nice thumbnail, but a bit nicer than this. Alright, so put it there, open up GIMP. And uh, I'll show you how to get fonts into your GIMP too, because GIMP doesn't really have that many nice um, uh, fonts. I'm just going to wait until GIMP pauses up. Okay, guys, I'm back, and uh, GIMP just came up. I'm going to go... you got to remember for doing um, um, a thumbnails, you always have to go like this. So you go to New, and then the height, go 360. So 640 by 360. That's going to be the best one that you're ever going to have. So always have that like that. And then, yeah, so let's get started. So... We'll add this, and you can change it, but I'm just going to stick with the example one, and then I'm going to stick with linear, so you just go like this, it gives you a nice little background right there. So then what you want to do is add in your font, so we'll go like that, and then we'll go, let's see what fonts we could use. We will use the use the Minecraftory one. Okay, so we can. This is what you do. We'll do ex example, and we can go like this. Oh. Okay, so example, and then you just shortcut like that. So that looks kind of plain right now. So. T is a T is a shortcut to that, so M is a shortcut to this. So it's just easy like that, and then you go like this, and you can change the colors around. These are your recent colors right here. So let's go maybe. Let's see that. All right, mm, all right, that's okay. So then we go to filters, and it gives you a bunch of different um, things that you can do with uh, texts or pictures or whatever you're creating best one I find is go light and shadow and drop shadow so you go to that you put it all the way to 100 the opacity and then you click OK and then it will render and then we'll make it really look really nice like that so we can go like that looks nice okay and then you can move it around with this tool like I said so like that and then as we can go, we can, let's go, let's go to Safari for a sec. So we can go, hmm, let's see, uh, what can we add in there? Diamond sword. Images. And then, hmm, go right here. Save image as the sword. Save. Close Safari. And then you want to go, this is a really important part, you go File, Open as Layers, Desktop, or wherever you saved it, and then click that. That's the diamond sword. So, as you can see, it's white. Um, it's not really how you want it, but I'll show you what you can do with that. So, the way to shrink it, because you can't really go like this <coughs> without moving it, sorry. And so, you want to go to this tool right here and then grab the corner and you can shrink it and put it however size you want so we're going to put it right there click scale and the easiest way uh, to get the white background out is to erase it as far as I know right now but I'm going to do that quickly and I'll be right back alright guys I'm back and uh, I uh, did what I said I was going to do to the sword and as you can see I added two and the way to flip it is uh, 
shown now. Click this, click the image, and just like that. So I basically did that to, oh, okay. I did that to both images, so. Okay. I did that to both images, and uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it. And then another important thing, actually, you do export to. This is going to do for the best quality. So, example, desktop export it's gonna show up and you just click export and then it will render and then you go export just like that and then you go to desktop again and then like that you gotta make sure um, okay you gotta make sure you do export to first because it gives it the best quality and then export and then <coughs> sorry um, it'll give it the best quality right here so um, where is it, where is it, where is it, oh, not these ones, right here, where did it, oh, right here, sorry, so, that's the, that right there, and then, <coughs> sorry guys, I have kind of a cold, um, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, get the fonts now, so, now, you're gonna go to the Safari, and you're gonna go the font, or whatever web browser you're doing, it's the same on Windows, so, and then we're gonna choose a font. Let's go. Let's go medieval. Okay, so we can choose. <coughs> Let's go with um. Hmm, I like this one. This one's okay. So you click download, and then you do. Show in Finder. And then you're going to go close that. I'm going to drag this. And this is a really, really, really important part right here. So you're going to open it. And you're going to delete everything that's not TTF. So delete. Delete. And then that's good. And again, if it goes like, if it gives you a file such as, hmm, let's see, let's see. My downloads. If it gives you a file like this instead of the folder, all you have to do is new folder. What I do is um I name it Minecraft or e, whatever the font name is, and you just drag it into there, and then I'll show you the process. But that's how you do it with it without um 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 folders if it doesn't give you one. So then you're gonna go to GIMP again file oh no sorry the gimp right here on max in windows it's edit and then preferences will be along here gimp you go to preferences and then you're going to want to go and click this little arrow right here behind for beside folders and then click fonts and then you go add and then see how it's red that's saying the font doesn't work but we don't have one yet so we click that and click old london that's our font and then it's green, so you click OK. Um, sometimes you have to. Oh, I don't like that. There. Sometimes you have to um, uh, close GIMP and reopen it because sometimes it doesn't work. So we're gonna make a new text box right here, and we're gonna go to our new font called Old London, and then we're gonna type example. I don't really like the font that much, but oh well just a random font and then we're gonna make it a bit bigger or smaller I should say uh, yeah guys that's about it um you can change the color and stuff but yeah that's about it um I'll uh, see you guys uh, later in my next video and uh, yeah peace